हेलो एवरीबडी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिजाइनिंग द डेटा बेस स्कीमस मेनी टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग इंटरव्यूज क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू डेटा बेस डिजाइन आर कॉमनली आस्ट आई रिसेंटली एनकाउंटर्ड अ सिमिलर सिचुएशन वेर आई वॉज प्रेजेंटेड विद द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन एज अ यूजर ऑफ अ सी आर एम एप्लीकेशन आई वॉन्ट टू एड कस्टम फील्ड्स टू द कस्टमर रेकॉर्ड्स सो दैट आई कैन स्टोर एडिशनल डिटेल्स अबाउट कस्टमर्स स्पेसिफिक टू माई बिजनेस इन सेपरेट फील्ड्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सिस्टम डिजाइन फील्ड्स so this question uh, often poses a challenge for many individuals causing them to become stuck and unable to provide a suitable answer so i will explain you how to approach designing a database schemas in context of relational database management systems for such problems so first before directly jumping into creating database schemas and tables let's first try to understand the problem statement so as a user of a crm application so there is a crm application here okay crm application so what is a crm application so crm application is basically an application used by businesses to manage the customers information so the crm application will be used by multiple businesses and each business can manage their customers data in it so crm application will have many businesses signed up so Let's draw it. Business one, business two, business three. Like this, there can be many businesses which are using the CRM application. Okay, so user here is a business. Okay, now let's move ahead. I want to add custom fields to the customer records so that I can store additional details about customers specific to my business in separate fields apart from system design defined fields. so what are system defined fields so there are some basic information about customers which will be common for all the businesses for example the customer id the first name of the customer the last name of the customer so these are all the fields which will be common for all the businesses so these are termed as system defined fields so apart from system defined fields the question says here that the business wants to add custom fields specific to their businesses okay so uh, sometimes they need to save extra information about customers that you need that you need to their businesses for example suppose the business one is a business related to some mobile company okay collecting information about mobile phones so the information like the mobile size the color the ram and the rom of the mobile are required for this business and suppose business two is a business related to matrimonial company uh which collects personal details of the customers so the information like the age gender height date of birth are the fields required by their businesses so based on the business's requirement they want to add the custom fields in the form as well so uh there could be many different businesses signing up each with its own unique information needs so we need to design a database where user sees different forms based on their businesses this lets each business collect information they need okay so uh so this is a business and it it has a whole set of customers which when they will try to fill the form made by this business they will see a system defined fields on the fields and also the fields created custom fields created by the businesses okay so this business will have its own set of uh customers and this business will have its own set of customers and likewise okay so this business is using the crm application okay so looking at the question and the diagram which we have made let's identify the entities to determine the tables so uh, the very first thing which we see here is that the businesses are using a crm application so that should be a table that stores information about businesses right so the very first thing which will be we'll need is a uh, business entity right uh this entity uh refers to business and the table for this will show information about the business okay let's term it one okay the next entity which we can see from the diagram is the customers because each business will have its own set of customers so, so there will be customers entity 
the third is uh, the businesses will create its own custom fields that will be shown to the customers so there should be some table which will store those custom fields right so the third will be business custom fields okay the fourth is uh, the customer will uh, see the form which will have the system defined fields and the custom fields created by the customers the you the customer will fill the form and uh, he will submit the form so there should be some table that will store the values for that fields okay so here as the form will have two types of fields the system design defined fields and uh, system defined fields and the custom fields so we need to make two tables one table that will show the values of uh, the system defined field and the second the table which will store the values of uh, custom field right okay so there will be total of five tables which we will need okay so the very first table which we we'll need is businesses okay so this business table uh, will have id as the primary key okay the next thing which uh, the business table will have is the business name uh, we should know the name of the business okay the second table is the customers table this will also have id as the primary key now each customer is linked to a particular business so there should be some relation between customers and business so we will add a business id here which will be a foreign key to the business tables id okay now the customer will have uh, some basic details like email and phone number which which he or she used to sign up to a business okay so these are two tables the third table is the business custom field let's name it at business custom fields okay this table will be used to store the custom fields created by the businesses okay so it will have an id as the primary key as this custom field will be created by a business so we need to have a business id here which will be the foreign key to the business tables id okay the third column will be a uh, we need to store a field right so field basically has two things uh, the the field name okay which will determine the name of that particular field and the field type the field which will be shown to the customer will have which type for example it will be a type text field or a number or what okay the next is uh, we need a table to store the values of the system defined fields okay so we can make a customer system field values okay. it will also have id as a primary key uh, so this table will store the value of the system design defined fields which are filled by the customers so it should have a customer id column to determine which customer has filled this value and this will be a foreign key to the customers id column as the system defined fields are static so we will directly have the column name as the first name middle name last name so these are all the system defined fields and uh, so the first name will have the value here as the first name middle name and last name of the customer okay and now we will need a table to show the value of the custom fields that are filled by the customers so let's keep the name as customer custom field values so it will have id as the primary key okay and this uh, field will be filled by customer so we will need a customer id to determine which which customer has filled the form this customer id will also refer to the customer's id column okay the next thing is now this table will store the value of which custom field so this is the custom fields are defined here so we need a reference to this table like this custom fields value is stored in this table so we will have this reference id here field id which will be a foreign key 
to the business custom fields id okay the next thing we'll need is the value itself like what was the value that was filled for this custom field so these are the essential schemas required for the given question the specific design can vary depending on the diverse requirements what i have explained is is a fundamental approach that suits these needs i hope you understood the video and if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments and i will be very happy to answer them also uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any updates i know this is our second video of our channel and we haven't uploaded any content in a while but i promise we will post videos regularly about the concepts which i personally feel is somewhat difficult to understand and hard to find over the internet thank you all and see you all in the next video